Everyone loves to eat. And whether you're hankering for a hamburger, craving some crab, or longing for a lemon, it takes many, many resources to get food to your table. We invest so many resources in agriculture. About 10% of our energy, half of our land, and 70% of our fresh water go into agriculture today. But we don't eat all the food we grow. So what happens to those resources when we toss our food in the trash? When we throw food away, we throw away all of the resources that went into growing it, cooking it, getting it to our table. And we estimate that that's about one quarter of all of the water in the U.S. that's going to grow food that never gets eaten. Just to give you a sense of what that means for your table, when you throw out a hamburger, that's the equivalent of taking a 90-minute shower in terms of the water it took to produce it. And while farms, restaurants, and grocery stores all contribute to this problem, they aren't the only ones who toss a lot of food. The biggest source of food waste is us in our homes. About 40% of all the food that gets wasted happens in homes. The good news about this is that there's so much we can do and there are a lot of easy steps that we can take to really waste less. One is to just freeze food. You know, almost anything can be frozen. Just pop it in the freezer. It's like pushing the pause button on your food. Another thing that really helps is being a little more mindful of planning your meals and shopping to match your plans. One other thing to really learn about are the expiration dates on food. So you might see use by, sell by, best by, or, or just a date with no words. Many people think those dates mean the food is unsafe or spoiled or bad, but that's not in fact the case. Those dates are really just a manufacturer's best guess of when the product is at its freshest. So most products can be eaten days, weeks, even months after those dates. We can all help solve this problem. Even the president is pitching in. The Obama administration announced national targets to reduce food waste. They are aiming to reduce food waste by 50% by the year 2030. The thing to remember is that no matter how organically or sustainably uh, food is grown, if you're not actually eating that food, it's not doing anyone good and it's really a terrible use of resources. How can you change your habits? 